and welcome to another Tuesday on the Den. My name is Bruno and we are here to talk about something, <laughs> like explain something week. So, for this week, I'm going to explain you something, something now. I'm going to explain you about the Easter tradition in Portugal. How do we celebrate Easter? I mean, the Christians. How do they celebrate? Um, I celebrate because uh, you will you will get it. Uh, so the thing is, you know all the the backstory of MCJC, <laughs> MC Jesus Christ. No, just Jesus. You know all the backstory of Jesus, of his death, and the resurrection three days after, or three days later, wherever. Um, so the thing is that here to celebrate the third day that he awaked from the dead, uh, we have a little tradition to that the priest and the little guy <laughs> that helped the priest uh, go with his crucify, 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 I don't know, with the little Jesus on the, on the thingy, um, like with the a flower crown at all the all the you're uniting all the points you know just a little just too little for for Jesus too too little I mean too gay for Jesus I know right so many flowers like oh this one is so pretty. Oh, look at this flower. It's a red cross. Oh my god, it's so fabulous right now. And <laughs> wherever. Uh, <laughs> so, the thing is, uh, there's a bunch of guys who take this. This Jesus with them, like, um, groups of six, seven people. One to carry the, um, one to carry Jesus, MC Jesus. Uh, one to collect the, the money because they have in every house they, they left an envelope. Uh, every single person, the owners of the house left, left or left whatever. Uh, an envelope with with an amount of money that they want to uh, and then the guy and there's a guy with a red bag to be fabulous uh, collecting the money there's two little kids for the for the the bells like you know little bells uh, this is weird to do this. Okay, let me stop. Uh, there's a guy to, to. There's a guy to to read the the praise. And there's a guy to carry the. A little jar, a little metal jar with um, only water. And then the guy who reads the uh, this, the praise starts to to shower everyone. <laughs> um, I was I was that guy once when I was in the closet. When I was still in the closet, I mean, yeah. it was fucking tired, really fucking tired, exhausting. Whatever. So the thing is, they do that, and it's more like a North 
Portuguese tradition, Portuguese North tradition, whatever. Uh, and in every village or city, they have this Jesus on the. I don't know the name. What the fuck? Oh, the crux. Whatever. And they go, this little group goes to every single house that opens their, door, their doors, they like. Uh, they, they pick some flowers and rosemary and that and that kind of stuff to do like a little, a little, how do you say that? A little uh, flower carpet or something like that. So they know, so do they know where to go to each house to go if the, if the, the people there are Christians or not, or they feel good to open the door to receive Christ in their houses. Yeah, whatever. And, and basically this is the tradition. Uh, a, a bunch of guys going in, in people's houses, taking MC Jesus with them and picking up money from envelopes. And doing this for some of the cities or villages, they can do this only on on Sunday Easter, or some and some of them need needs to do like in two days, the Sunday and the and the Monday. That's why I got so exhausted when I done that, when I did that, when I. And basically is that having those guys going from house to house to house to house to house to house uh saying the the same prayers every single house. I mean you have like three or four uh prayers on on the on the little paper paper that they gave you, that the priest gave you to, to read. And the funny part is really the the shower. <laughs> I say the shower because it's funny to say it. Uh, with um, the shower with the... Uh, with the... the shower with the uh, holy water. Because some people are like, oh no, water, no, I can't, I can't have water in my hair, in my hair, it's so fabulous today, I can ruin it, girl, don't hit me with that. Some really try to, to cover their faces or their hair, some of them try to, <laughs> try to get behind other people, and it's amazing. And one funny thing in in where I live, uh, I mean my house, and this happens in other places in my in my city too, uh, because some families live together from each other's, uh, like really near from each other. Uh, my uncles are. Living in the other side of the street, and the street isn't that large, so yeah. <laughs> uh, and basically, what happens is, uh, if the I'm going to call it compasso, it's like it's not compass. I don't know, but this is how we call it compasso. And they start like in my uncles. They come from my home, from my house. And then they go to our neighbor's house. There is uh, just a few steps uh, going down. And then my grandma's houses, my mother's 
mom and my father's mom. They are they are neighbors too. So yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, um, the people or my uncles come. Uh, since we are all are all since we are all um family they start there they come uh, every single one comes to my house and then we go uh down to my grandma's houses and so you see like 20 20 30 40 sometimes uh, people uh, going from house to house and sometimes it's fucking funny because it's funny I don't I won't going I won't going to explain this but it's funny uh, <laughs> to eat uh, oh fuck to eat uh, in these days uh, there's a tradition I like to do to, I'm, I mean a tradition in near Portugal I don't know in other countries um, but basically uh, the thing is to hit lamp and it's fucking annoying this why because I work at the supermarket as a butcher and what I do every single day during the um, during the Easter Easter time and Christmas Christmas time. Um, one of the things that I sell the most is lamb, and it's fucking annoying because it's exhausting to to cut it with those big knives. I don't know how to say those in English. What the fuck is wrong with me? And I get really exhausted for my harm to be like talk 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 talk. You know, like I am today, because I'm doing 10 hours, 11, 11 hours shifts every single day this week. Because of fucking Easter and fucking lamp heaters. I mean, I, I like to heat lamp, but I'm not going there to ask for like two lambs of fucking 15 kilograms of fucking meat so the guy can kill himself <laughs> with all that meat like 30 oh 15 each one by the way yeah it's fucking a lot but yeah i'm going to to finish this year is like 30 13 minutes long already. I wasn't supposed to do this long. Oh my fucking god, you guys are go going to kill me. Uh, one more thing. Uh, for for Sunday, for that Easter tradition here in Portugal, if you guys want, just if you want to see it, if you want, if you want me to do like a live video or just record it to, to put it, uh, in the channel later on Sunday um, I can do it but you guys have to decide if you want or not but for that leave leave it on the comments if you really want to see it <laughs> uh, sorry guys because I'm not being the funny guy, as always, but I'm fucking exhausted from work. This kills me. Uh, so, see you next week on Tuesday. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Please tell your friends about us. They need to know us, they need to know us. Ah, because look at this. There's no one to know the hell. Ah. God, I need to stop. I'm showing my boobs a lot today. What the fuck? Stop it. Um. Oh fuck, my mobile phone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so don't forget about uh, the video on Sunday if you want it or not. And you know, 
Bye. Hmm. <laughs>